What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network, continuing analyzing Peter Swoley's great email uh, with the complete taproot proposal, a collection of three BIPs that we will hear read and talk about on the World Crypto Network. We have already finished the Schnorr BIP, uh, which, is, which was the first one. Today, we will start with the taproot BIP, and we will finish with the TapScript BIP starting in a couple of days. Okay, Pierce, this is a very intense and technical reading. Uh, thus, it will not be a solo reading of just the words that Peter has written here, but it will actually be a, a more discussion format uh, where we talk about uh, the different uh, trade-offs uh, and benefits that we get with this proposal. Of course, this is in uh, together to see with all the videos we have previously produced about Schnorr signatures, uh, more than 14 videos so far with more being uploaded to this playlist uh, pretty much daily. Uh, so peers, uh, check this out. This is kind of the uh, rudimentary prerequisite knowledge uh, that will help you uh, to understand this stuff. Uh, so accumulate as much as you can uh, and let's start reading the BIP taproot. Uh, it's a consensus layer soft fork proposal and the long form title is taproot. Sacvid version one output spending rules. The author is Peter Woolley, uh, upon many others uh, who have uh, talked to him and uh, spun out these ideas. A comment summary, no co official comments yet, uh, thus no comment URLs. The status is a draft. So this is a very early BIP a version. We really need a lot more uh, stuff to talk about before we have a fully functional implementation that will run on your own full node. But it's good to accumulate this knowledge so far. Type a standard track uh, and credited uh, to many people under the BSD3 clause license. Okay, so this entire paper has, of course, a table of contents. And today we will read the instructions, uh, sorry, the introductions with the abstract copyright and motivation. Uh, the design is a thing for its own uh, on the, the network or, or on a separate part, uh, talking about all the nuances that go into uh, th thinking why exactly uh, we choose this design in the draft here. Uh, and then in a separate video, the specification, uh, really detailed about the tag caches, script validation rules, signature validation rules with hash types and transaction digests. This is probably going to be two or three videos uh, just to somewhat dismantle the technical side of it and to make sure that it's not as convoluted uh, and complicated. Uh, I, I'll try to do my best. <laughs> then construction, uh, constructing and spending taproot outputs. Uh, also some on the security and test vectors with some rationale. I guess they go good here with the design philosophy behind it and the deployment. Uh, also talking a bit about the backwards compatibility since this is a soft fork and of course a acknowledgement of all the peers who contribute to this very in-depth paper. Uh, of course, uh, this uh, uh, we have talked about Taproot uh, in several Optech newsletter readings, as well as a reading of Gregory Maxwell's original post to the mailing list of Taproot and Graftroot, as well with some other uh, stuff. Uh, so again, a lot of this knowledge is already on the World Crypto Network, and this is one addition to the archive that you can check out for free. Okay, uh, introduction. So this document proposes a new SegWit version one output type with spending rules based on Taproot, Schnorr signatures, and Merkel branches. So this is SegWit version one. Uh, if you remember the current version of segregated witness that we got in August 2017 uh, is version zero. Okay, and now we do the first upgrade to version one. And it's a major upgrade. We can also do minor version upgrades and then from 1.0 till 1.16, uh, I believe. Uh, and this includes uh, Taproot, uh, which is what, we'll, what we will cover in this BIP reading, especially. Uh, it is a collaborate or a uh, based on, well, it is a culmination uh, of Schnorr signatures, which we have discussed in the last couple uh, readings of the BIP Schnorr, uh, which is just a very efficient uh, and beautiful little cryptography algorithm that is used uh, for generating or, well, for uh, signing with a private key a message so that a public key uh, can attest uh, to the validity of uh, the signature and that it has been done by the signer. And Merkle branches and uh, Merkle trees uh, are, of course, where Bitcoin money is growing on top of. <laughs> it's a way where you can uh, hash individual 
uh, entries into a database and then proof uh, with a Merkle proof that uh, lays out one of the trees uh, or one of the uh, roots of the tree structure uh, that uh, how they are connected, the leaf to root. Uh, and this is what is used in Bitcoin all over the place and it is combined with Schnorr signatures uh, in this taproot proposal. And the copyright is that this document is licensed under the three clause BSD license. So the motivation, a number of related ideas for improving Bitcoin's scripting capabilities have been previously proposed. Schnorr signatures, which is BIP Schnorr, Merkle branches, which is masked in BIP 114 and 117, new SIG hash modes, which is BIP 118, and new opcodes like check SIG from stack, taproot, graftroot, groot, and cross input aggregation. So this BIP builds on all of this stuff. Uh, so again, this requires rather a lot of prerequisite knowledge. So uh, check out, uh, do the readings of these BIPs. There are a couple of great articles for each of these topics um, on, for example, the Bitcoin magazine written by Aaron van Vitrum. Uh, of course, the World Crypto Network, we've covered pretty much all of this stuff already previously. Uh, so there is knowledge out there. Uh, seek it and accumulate it uh, so that you can understand this. Combining all these ideas in a single proposal would be an extensive change, but hard to review, and likely miss new discoveries that otherwise could have been made along the way. Some of these ideas are also less mature than others. On the other hand, separating them all into independent proposals would reduce the efficiency and privacy gains to be had and complicated analysis of their interactions. It seems preferable to focus on one global set at a time, uh, sorry, on one goal set at a time, and combine interacting technologies to achieve that. Uh, so again, this is now a, a bit that is focused on Taproot itself. Okay, so not really going into MAST, uh, but utilizing Merkleized abstracts and text trees. Uh, and also not talking too much about Schnorr signatures, but utilizing the Schnorr process. Uh, and of course, Graftroot and Taproot are things then that, that will come at a, uh, a future point in time. We will first focus on Taproot and then later uh, think about how we can use Graftroot or Groot and cross input aggregation then. Um, this, uh, which by the way, cross input aggregation is what we can use for coin joins, right? Here where we aggregate the signature of several inputs. Uh, but again, this is uh, probably farthest off in the quote unquote uh, developer roadmap, <laughs> at least what I've heard from talking to the peers uh, who are thinking about implementing this. This really requires a lot of the pre, uh, like prerequisite work that we have already done and continue doing with Schnorr, Mast, and sick hash modes, uh, and of course, then culminating here in Taproot for now. So, Piers, this is going to be, or this has been the first part of this reading of the Taproot uh, bit, which again, a uh, lot of stuff is in here, and uh, we will probably read the bits for MAST and sick hash modes as well. Let's see, because uh, I think it's quite valuable to have this knowledge out there. And I hope that my blabbering alongside the reading uh, helps you a little bit uh, to be uh, to, to package this information more uh, approachably uh, and to hopefully uh, clear up some of the references that are being made here. But again, as with everything, I'm just one dude falling down the rabbit hole. Uh, so uh, don't trust me, uh, but verify for yourself, right? Actually go back to the sources uh, and read all the original mailing list posts and conversations, all the forum posts and all this. And of course, uh, also the Bitcoin Optech newsletter, which, we, which has covered Schnorr signatures and Taproot a lot already. Uh, so this is a, comment or a, a list, including all the times that it has talked about. Uh, so, Piers, also, if you have in-depth questions, you can call the hodlhotline.com, where you can get hourly consulting with one of the many Bitcoin teachers here uh, for small donations of, in my case, 1.5 million Satoshis. We can talk for an hour about all the stuff that I talk here on the World Crypto Network. Or if, if you also would like uh, to support the show in form of a, a small donation, uh, we have a new funding goal of 0.1 Bitcoin to get new microphones that will help us uh, to cover the conferences that we will go to. Uh, this includes uh, the Portland conference, uh, the, Bitcoin, uh, the Bitcoin hack 
hackathon in Parlamo Police, blockchain hotel, lightning hack day, value of Bitcoin, breaking Bitcoin, unchained Bitcoin, Baltic Honey Badger, the Money Badger, Hackers Congress in Parlamo Police, at Transylvania Crypto Conference, and probably many, many more. Uh, so if you think this content is valuable, join one of the 17 uh, donations and make sure that we get the funding goal uh, reached hopefully soon. Uh, so Piers, thank you very much for joining us today here on the World Crypto Network and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.